outreach is so important when trying to reach individuals who are currently not accessing services or not being reached. And we have to make sure that people know not only do we care, we're here for them, so that they know there's at least a little haven in their life where they can go and feel like this is really nice because I'm treated like a human being again. Outreach to me really is about fairness because farm workers face a lot of difficulties with their work, with access to care, with access to community services, and the outreach piece really is, pro is to provide access to workers who otherwise would not have it. And it has been an amazing experience. It has been a life changer for me and I think for all the interns, the students, uh, doctors, nurses, everybody who comes on board every year. It has been an amazing experience. My name is Elizabeth Freeman Lumbar. I'm the program director for the North Carolina Farm Worker Health Program, which is a program within the Office of Rural Health and Community Care. Hello, I'm Brian Toomey. I'm the CEO of Piedmont Health Services here in Carborough, North Carolina. And we've been a, a proud community health center for uh, just over 41 years now. I'm Melinda Wiggins. I'm the executive director of Student Action with Farm Workers. SAP has been around for 19 years. My name is Patricia Morales and I am the Outreach Coordinator at Prospect Hill Community Health Center, part of Pimo Health Services. We have another site at Monkey Community Health Center as well. The North Carolina Farm Worker Health Program, which is a program within the Office of Rural Health and Community Care, it was designed to increase access to care for farm workers in North Carolina. Last year, um, our numbers went up. Um, we saw roughly 15,000 patients, and, and that is solely due to our participation with the AmeriCorps program. The difference with our program is that we, we look at the needs throughout the state. So instead of targeting our service is from a traditional freestanding health um, center that is just serving that county or the, the counties in that region. We look at the entire state, try to see where there are gaps in care. Piedmont Health Services has been a community health center, or an FQHC as other people know, since 19. 70. We celebrated our 40th anniversary last year. We're looking forward to the next 40 years. Uh, we started out in a small facility, a bunch of trailers in Prospect Hill, and we're now located at seven sites throughout the central part of the state. We serve patients from 14 different counties, two states, and in four different languages, and uh, we provide not just medical care, but dental services, pharmacy services, WIC services, as well as care management, social work, and other support services. Mm -hmm. Last year we saw 40,000 people, and of the 40,000 people, uh, 23,000 were uninsured, and when you break that down into uh, how many people we see per day, per site, we have six sites, we actually see one uninsured patient every three minutes. And it means that we see one patient every one and a half minutes in our organization. SAP has been around for 19 years and every year uh, since our inception we have placed students with community groups, specifically with health clinics, to provide much needed support and services for farm workers in North Carolina and in the South. And we, um, I've been involved with SAF since the beginning. I was an intern in the first program in 1993. We started our day basically at 
organizing the files, getting the files from cabinets where they are organized, and every site might have a different file system, but after that we select the files in a specific area and then we go to the map and see the location and we get in prepared. We get all materials, we get the donations that we take with us, and we take the vitamins of all the materials and booklets and everything. The interns go usually in pairs or teams and we, when we get there, usually we leave the clinic around 5.30 or 6, depending on how many tasks we have to do in the clinic. And then we spend around four or five hours out there in the field. We finish around 10, 10.30. And basically the next day we have to combine our tasks, like doing the encounters or all the paperwork. Connection. Being human. Fairness. Passion. Key is that we all have a common goal, in this case, to reach out to farm workers and their families. The program is critical to our success and critical, again, to the life of tens of thousands of people. Um, and we're so thrilled to be able to work with them. I think the relationship between and among the Farm Worker Health Program, Piedmont Health Services, and SAF has been around for a while, and I think we have figured out some ways to really um, make it more, make it so that we can reach more workers. Thank you, Pimon Health Services. Thank you, Student Action with Farm Workers. And thank you, North Carolina Farm Worker Health Program, for work together for embrace this underserved community that deserves so much. We appreciate all what you do to bring to the table justice, passion, compassion, and all our missions have one goal, to serve in the best way possible. Thank you all for being part of this amazing network to serving others.